What? What's this? Why is Jay appearing before a wash day video? Well, like the title suggests, this is a pre-wash day video. Yes, I risked my life during Calderona, and I went to Connecticut to see Sharky. And of course, yes, we did a wash day wash-in. Well, it so turns out that Sharky had, uh, I think, a total of three loads that he had to do. So uh, the night before, or the, yeah, the night before uh, the day where we were going to do the wash day proper, um, I decided let's do a quick test with this because China has sent me more goodies, including a dual wireless mic pack. So this was a test video and nothing more than that. I've edited in much the same fashion as many of the wash days, but this was really, you know, we weren't really on our game and on the ball as far as all the add-ins and stuff like that, which will appear in the wash day uh, proper for this. This was simply an audio and a light test. I had brought my rig for my camera where I have a light on top that I've used before and that seemed to work well. Um, I also have a shotgun mic on there but I found that last time when I used that we kind of half used it and half didn't and it sort of worked and it sort of didn't. Well anyway this mic pack has a lot to offer but uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve as far as setup and all that goes. Now I don't have a proper mount for it just yet. It's on order and will be here very soon. However, uh, I needed a way to attach the receiver to the rig so I could plug it into the camera. And uh, I figured a rubber band would work, but apparently they don't have that kind in Connecticut. So we had to make use of packing tape to hold it on. And the whole thing was just absolutely hokey at best. And um, basically what happened was this. There's two microphones. I wore a lavalier microphone, and I figured the shotgun would do well to pick up Sharky and, of course, the machine itself, uh, being that I was going to be holding the camera most times, uh, which is exactly what happened. However, this mic pack has some settings that I was not necessarily familiar with. It does mono or stereo. I had it in stereo because why would you not have it in stereo? But it so turns out that when you do that, and there's two microphones, it puts one on the left channel and the other on the right channel. The next problem was the impedance of the microphones were different. So the lavalier mic was louder than that of the shotgun mic. And yet another problem that we had was interference from Sharky's phone because millennial. And yet one other problem we had was a number of dropouts of the audio from my lavalier mic. Now I'm not entirely certain why that actually occurred, but when it does happen, you can hear me through the shotgun mic. But like I said, the impedance of those microphones were different so the level of the shotgun mic is lower than that of the lavalier and I don't have any real audio editing software and it would be a royal pain again this was simply a test to see now a lot of things happened in the day that transpired but I learned from my mistakes and I did set the mic pack to mono and that way uh, the audio channels were combined so you would hear the lavalier on both the left and the right channel and you'd also hear the shotgun mic on both channels as well. For this test that I did it was in the stereo image and that does the left and the right and it's just hard to watch. It, it really is. The audio was pretty bad I must say in that regard. So I've down mixed the audio of this entire wash day to mono and that has 
greatly improved the audio for this particular video. Uh, so with that said, uh, during this video you're going to hear a lot of cutouts from my mic and another thing I found, I don't know if it was the packing tape or just how it was mounted or just it being hokey in general or perhaps uh, it was just china -ing. in the actual test that I did of this mic pack it worked fantastic no dropouts no nothing it was great through and through so why it kept dropping out when everything was at very close range I don't know but this is the best we got and again this was just a test you'll see some wash you'll hear the audio you'll see the rig the whole nine yards it's all there for you I've done the best I could to clean up the audio as best I could but you will hear dropouts of my lavalier and other weird stuff in the proper wash like I said I did set it to mono and that solved the weird image of the lavalier on the left and the shotgun on the right and I also increased the volume on the shotgun microphone to the best that I could hear through head uh, through through a headset because I had that too with the whole thing and uh, that way it helped to adjust it I didn't start this video off with the headset because I completely forgot that it actually has such capabilities and when I tested that I wasn't actually too thrilled with it but for the actual wash day proper I realized duh the camera has a headphone jack where I can plug a headset in and monitor the audio and through there it was much louder much more clear and I think I got it dialed in pretty good when that video will actually end up being released I don't know yet but it will be coming in the future it needs to be edited at this particular point in time but of course that will be done and it will be presented to you with much better audio than this video could provide so I hope you'll enjoy this thank you very much for watching in advance and here is the pre wash day 7.0 at Sharky 626's place with JK18 enjoy it is not wash day wash in 7.0 just yet with Sharky 626 I have my camera rig here I actually forgot to put the light on I want to show you what I have I'll show you the mirror here so you see there's green things and a flashy green light and all that so this is a wireless mic pack with two microphones if you can see here I'm wearing a lavalier which is not turned on yet that's why the green light there is flashing and I'm using the shotgun microphone right here there we are using the shotgun microphone for audio Sharky because he is directly in front of the camera will be getting you know good audio that way I have to plug it wirelessly into this mic pack I'm now going to turn on my lavalier So now we should have both mics going. I don't know if there's echo or what. I'll put my video light on. <laughs> and there is the Queed Speen. Yep. So you have your, your skivvies and whatnot in there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so, so this, this video is just, we're just gonna be doing a quick wash here. There's gonna be the True Blue uh, video coming later on, but this is just a test with the light and the mic yeah. packs and that, just to see. So, oh, it's already on white, so look at that. So I put it through there usually. This is a medium load, hot water. Okay. Oh. There we go. And Niagara Falls starts flowing exactly. once again. <laughs> Good. Okay, so everything as you saw in here, if you notice how everything is crooked in that, uh, I need to get a different rig for this uh, that I can add to the extra stuff here and I could actually put the mic packs on here so it won't be as obtrusive it's just packing tape held on for now this is just a light and audio test just to see how it ends up working out that's really all it is I actually saved some weight on the rig but it's still really heavy <laughs> it's still really heavy 
So what? How? What is the load size on this? Uh, medium. Medium. So it goes up to about, I'd say, uh, maybe like here or so. So five more seconds. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sharky isn't ashamed because sharks don't shit their pants. So he's not afraid of showing his skivvies on the YouTube <laughs> and that. So, uh, yeah, this actually ends up working out. In fact, which is the light switch in here? Uh, the one on the left. The left one. That's just with the video light. And even with that, the camera, in fact, I'll turn the screen so Sharky can see it. Fucking perfect. Yeah, no, it's like... It's, it's like otherwise, like it's otherwise totally dark in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does, does a really good job. Yeah, so that'll work. So, yeah, like I said, this is just a quick test just to see what we can achieve with all of the China goodness that they have sent me. And uh, I'll come back when the machine is ready to roll. And I brought along the Kenmore heater so Sharky could see it in person. What do you think just looking at it? Pretty damn vintage. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> quality. Indeed. So we'll chooch that on in a little bit just to play with it while we're laundrifying. Should be ready to roll here at any moment. Sloshing the clothes around. I know, right? Oh wait, that's the Milena washer. The Milena washer. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I had to go and repair that. Oh, what at your sister's place? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. I had to go and fix it. Uh, the belt was slipping, and uh, yeah, it didn't end up working out too too well. So. <laughs> so you know, you know what you should do? You should go and get a speed queen. Well, I told them in no uncertain terms that I will disown my sister if she does not get a speed queen or use direct drive. Exactly. Yeah. Also, 100% acceptable. Oh, definitely. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I told her that she would be disowned if that happens. Well, actually, you know, let me say something on video here. Okay. Uh, a couple of friends of mine live um, kind of east of here. I don't want to give the exact town, but like a little east of here. And um, they recently bought a house, uh, oh, a couple months ago maybe. And um, they were looking at used machines. And um, there wasn't used the right drive, but unfortunately it was kind of out of their way. So they went with an older transmission GE, you know, with a plastic tub. Now those can have their fair share of problems, but you know, it has a transmission, it's mechanical, so you know, it, it should probably be okay, I think. And even one of the people said, you know, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous that the new watchers don't have transmissions. And I'm like, yes, exactly. See, so we're not alone in this whole thing, you know? The transmission is what makes it work. Well, yeah, but in the case of the GEs, like the one I have, mine just fucking grenaded itself. It did, yeah, it did, yeah. But I mean, like I said, this one's mechanical, so maybe it'll last longer, who knows? They're, they might it's, also have to rewire the low speed to the high maybe, speed winding. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 I think they said it's from like 2004, maybe. So, That's yeah. probably, it's probably very similar to mine. Yeah, it is. Just, it, just, you know, it, it doesn't have the electronic control panel. That's like the only difference. Really. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that, but oh yeah, we got some suds. Always oh, got the suds, and when we get to about uh, uh, 26 minutes is when I'll put the bleach in. All right, good. So anyway, we'll let this wash, and we will come back. We have the uh, Kenmore heater going. There are LEDs in here, so they won't burn out ever. So we can turn the lights on and off as much as we need. But you can see it's oh, yeah, yeah. just on low. Just on low, but let's say LEDs never burn out in Connecticut, huh? <laughs> Certainly not. They all have a off. fucking delay, but that's <laughs> it's on. The room is warm already. It's on low. I know. It is on low. I feel the heat all the way over here. It is such a soft, nice, even. I can't even tell you about how nice that is. It just instant warmth. Oh, yeah. Really, really nice. That 360 degree Aldi heater, no way. Oh, yeah, no. No way. You'd see that thing, you'd be like, that thing is a joke. <laughs> Even in the video, I thought it was a joke. It was. <laughs> it is. 
All right, so we'll come back later. The Clorox germicidal bleach. <laughs> germicidal? Didn't this always kill germs? It, it, Don't it, we use chlorine in swimming pools to kill the germs? I know, the right? algae, the bacteria, all of that? What is germicidal? The thing was, that this is what they had at the time that wasn't splashless, so I was like, all right, fine, let's go with but, it. But not only, not only does it say germicidal, that added at least a dollar to the price to start with. Probably. Wait, it gets better. That's too much. But no, you don't have to worry because they give you 50% more. <laughs> it says, we'll show you in a second. The exact laundry dosage. Show the show the front of it when you get the thing. Oh, uh, this? Yeah, show, show the... Sure. Oh, 50% more uses, not 50% more free or 50% more anything. It's 50% more markup. Basically, but, but buy one, get one, and double the price. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is right. Well, we had enough time six minutes. Yeah, wait till 25, because 20 is when it goes to the first spin dream. Sharky has his laundry signs. He had a video of that. Oh, yeah. And of that, and the laundry sign there is pretty nice, too. So that's pretty cool. And like I always say, it does the job. Yeah, this gives a little bit of cleaning, actually. Probably have to do it at some time. Just take off the controls panel and put it in the machine. It'll clean it right oh, up. Yeah, absolutely. It just doesn't take <laughs> you the, the floor structure. <laughs> Twenty-five Mernitz, and in the Bleach, and you remember the Smart J oh, trick? Oh, is that splash right there? I did. So I want to rinse off the spout here, make sure there's no bleach left in there. It's just you know, so there's no concentrated bleach left on the plastics or the hose or anything. Rinsing it out probably helps it last longer too. Yep. I taught the shark to rinse it using the thing did, and put, yes, put it back because you you paid fifty percent more, so you know. Yeah, may, may as well get your money's worth, right? <laughs> they got your money's worth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but honestly, I'm okay with that because I mean, Clorox, in all seriousness, it's been a very good product, you know, to us all the old years that we've had it. You know, seriously, it really has been. That's the household name, like Kleenex. Kleenex, yeah. It's a facial tissue, is what it is. Windex, no, it's glass cleaner. Mm -hmm. Although I haven't really heard people say, get a Kleenex as often as they used to. Yes, yeah, so you don't hear that anywhere they, they near just, as much. They just, actually, that reminds me, because back in uh, middle school, no, elementary school, in one of those years, that 96%, 100%. Is that one of this? People always used to say, get a Kleenex, and I look at them like, what's a Kleenex? And I'm like, oh, you mean a tissue? Even I was like that, you know, seriously. It's like, ugh. Toilet paper became bathroom tissue. Sometime during my life, toilet paper became bathroom tissue. I wasn't notified of this. No one asked me if I agreed with it. It just happened. Toilet paper became bathroom tissue. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because it sounds better, you know, because people got to find it back then or something. Soft language makes for soft children. And then some. Yeah. Then. <sighs> well, it really suds up when you use the bleach. Yep. It, it aids in the cleaning action. And you know what I didn't bring that I wanted to? What's that? Laundersol. Oh. Uh, too bad. I wouldn't think of that. That's okay. There was that and one or two other things I wanted to bring that I forgot. I, I had a toolkit I wanted to bring just because, hey, you got a hammer? Oh, that's upstairs. Well, it's only a six mile walk. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you think I lost all, all that weight? Because <laughs> every time I ask him for a tool, he's like, no. Uh, it's all the way downstairs. It's all the way upstairs. No, th 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 that's how I got such thin wrists. <laughs> and I didn't bring the uh, thing. The, the the tape is still there. Oh, yeah. Well, it's okay, though, because we did a couple of tests on it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we did. We can do that another time. Yeah, it's It's fine. just nice that it's still there. Oh, yeah, definitely. So anytime, you just hold the RPM meter there, and, you know, you can always test it. In fact, you can even get your own. They're cheap enough. From yeah, yeah but my folks have never even asked about that. They'd be like, they're like, oh, it's the smartest part of the design. <laughs> yeah, eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, now. 
22 minutes, okay. Excellent. Very sudsy. test with me speaking and the machine spinning because I know this is a very bassy portion oh, yeah. of the program. We'll wait till it really gets, you know, humming along here. Yeah, definitely. It gets your whites whiter, your brights brighter. When your laundry detergent just isn't enough, Supercharge it with OxyClean. One scoop in every load of laundry, it'll make your whites whiter. It'll make your brights brighter. As a stain remover, it's the best. Grass stains, clay stains. Long live your laundry. OxyClean, the stain specialist. <laughs> Now we're getting some deep bass, so this is what I sound like with the machine running, with all the bass, and you say something too. What? Oh, just say Just say something so we uh, can, again, this is just for the audio test. Say something, I'm giving up on you. This definitely needs a warm rinse. <laughs> I know, yeah. But how was that for a spray rinse, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That, Serious. That, that's. A, I remember the very first time I saw these electronic uh, speed queens. I think it was. I looked my glasses. I think it was the the very first time I saw that was um was when Spats and Harley first got it back in 2015. And as I'm watching their video, I'm seeing the spray rinse, and I'm like, oh, it's it, uh, it's still spray rinsing? My end. My end. Whoa, this is like sudden accent right there. I was like, man, like that's crazy. And I counted other videos, like that was a 50 second spray rinse. That's freaking awesome. Oh yeah. I love and the first time I saw the machine run here uh, back in 2016, and I just keep seeing spray more and more and more. I'm like, oh, this is a good machine. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Nothing but the best. Real tomato ketchup, Annie? Oh, nothing but the best. <laughs> Just does what it's supposed to. That's all it needs to do. Or does it go to 15 per? Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll let that refill. We added a little something new to the mix I forgot about. Is the headset. <laughs> so I have a headset on that I can monitor the audio. It's not working too well through the headset. It's not working as well as I had hoped. But for the audio monitoring, but uh, something anyways. I could also monitor through the camera. Maybe that would be a better option. There we go. I have the uh, headset now plugged into the camera so I can hear myself better and hear everything that's going on. Oh man, just going through the headset and there's a lot of work that needs to be done with this rig here. I gotta get some extra parts and figure out how everything would mount up and stuff, but it is most certainly some much better audio than was ever achieved before with the built-in microphone. Wow. Pretty good, huh? That is serious. That is serious sound. 
Nice. that bass yeah and me talking over it say something now so I can hear it uh, let's see um, let me speak Darwin <laughs> say it one more time let me speak Darwin yeah it sounds better pointing to you so yeah maybe right, ultimately right maybe ultimately I will get uh, China to send me a three mic set and that way we can both have lavaliers and the shotgun mic Actually, and that would that actually, yeah. that would be good. They do sell it. Oh, do they? Nice. Oh, yeah, because, you know, as I have to search for these things on Amazon, um, they, you know, I, I have to go through a lot of uh, results, and I definitely saw it available for sale. Oh, that's good. This mic set, the two mic set as it is, was 239 259 There is definitely something weird with the plug of my headset here. Maybe earbuds would be a little bit more conducive because, I mean, this is like, I feel like Ross from You Can't Do That on Television. <laughs> Except Ross didn't hold the camera. This is my old headset I used to use, uh, video editing and that, but I have a nicer setup now because China. So and I still kind of like this headset for some reason, but I don't know, it works for what it is. <laughs> wow, you gotta hear that through this. Oh, I'm sure it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> That's something. Oh, we got some, oh, we had some phone interference. In the, in the wireless mic. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta be a millennial. I'd be a millennial. I, you know, this video brought to you by Apple. <laughs> yeah, if it weren't an Apple, we wouldn't be getting that damn interference. <laughs> well, good. That means my messages are more secret. They're so secret. <laughs> They're so secret, I don't even know what they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Indeed. And the heater here is still chooching. Uh, it is warm. This is just on low. We actually put it to high for a bit off camera, and after like a minute, we're like, okay, it's hot in here. This this is way well, too much. Well, I mean, you know what they say: some like it hot, but enough about Dan Hartman. Some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, sometimes it gets like the, that circular motion well, with the pump cavitation. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't do that, but it's like, whatever. It doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Nicey, 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 nice. Oh, yeah. Definitely nicey, nice. Don't you miss when washing machines, you know, when it came time to spin, they just spun up? No, it's like, you know, spin up, slow down, go slow, spin up again, slow down, go again, oh, it's going, oh, no, it's slowing down again. Then it finally speeds up and keeps going. One of the stupidest things with that is these stupid on-off drain pumps. Runs for a little bit, then stops. Oh, yeah. Runs for a little bit, then stops. It stops. Why? Is it to save energy, or is it, or is it because the pump's going to burn out if it keeps running? Who knows? Let me tell you something here, guys. Top-loading washers without transmissions don't work, period. Now, you heard that direct from the shark. Yes, you did. Just remember, sharks bite. <laughs> I was hoping you'd go, chomp. <laughs> chomp like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're going to let this close out and do its thing. I'm going to close the video out right here just because. And uh, I wonder if my mic is, I don't know. I can't quite tell what's quite going on yet. All right, I'm still working the bugs out, but that was the whole point of this test. I'm going to smack this together quick. I'll do a proper edit on it later on. I just want to see how the audio was. So thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and we will be back with the true wash day wash in sometime. Yes, indeed. Take care. Bye-bye.